Well, greetings one and all from the, uh, the stoop, the front stoop of St. Paul's Lutheran Church. How strange it is, even in the afternoon, where there should be some traffic zipping by, and uh, I am alone, and I'm certainly the only one sitting on the stoop uh, on anywhere here on Bar Street. But uh, so thankful as we are for the, uh, the live streaming of the services, that busy time. I know they're, uh, they have been viewed many, many times, which has been quite gratifying. I have been resting up since Holy Week. I've uh, got plenty of naps in. Uh, but I know that uh, as I read the comments, uh, how homesick folks are for uh, the church, which is our home. So I thought I'd make a couple of shorts here and in different spots, bring you greetings from St. Paul's. I'm sitting here on the steps of the stoop and uh, waving to passers-by now. There was one car, uh, but uh, you can see the, the spire going up. If, if your vision is great, you know it's exactly 214 feet up there and topped by that marvelous seven-foot-tall uh, golden cross, uh, taller, than, taller than any of us, uh, except perhaps uh, John Nordling. But uh, and trying to avoid any possible uh, bird droppings that may be around. I'm being very careful. But it puts me in mind of uh, the psalmist lifting up his eyes. In Psalm 121, I will lift my eyes up into the hills uh, from whence cometh my help. Uh, my help cometh from the Lord who made heaven and earth. That was an old uh, pilgrim's psalm. Uh, looking up at the hills of Jerusalem as they rejoice to come to the holy city. In fact, it's a great psalm for all of us when we are uh, overwhelmed to know as we lift up our eyes, whether it's the, the cross atop St. Paul's and that place where the gospel is proclaimed for us and our Lord comes with his gifts, the, the one who created the heavens and the earth, the one who sent his son to die on that cross, making, making our way straight and our sins forgiven and making our lives holy by his Holy Spirit, bringing us into his house, into his mansions. So I am uh, missing you, as I uh, hope you are missing me. And uh, I thought I'd close with the rest of that psalm here, which gives us good words. There's another car. Very friendly people. Lots of people are waving. But our Lord will not let your foot be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is at your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all evil. He will keep your life. The Lord will keep, will keep your going out and your coming in from this time forth and forevermore. Oop. Passers-by with bad words. But glory be to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We pilgrims are uh, on a journey to our heavenly home, but we'll focus on our Lord who uh, oversees our journey here still and pray that uh, as we trust in his vigilant love, uh, he preserves us in order to bring us home. God bless you and uh, we'll see you next time.